Hi everyone, I promised a friend, um, Artsy Miles Dawn, uh, to show how to revive your Cricut mats and it's pretty much the same process for regular Cricut mats as well as Cricut Imagine. I'm going to show you on the Imagine mats specifically. Now I went to use um, my Imagine the other day for a project last week and my mats, and they have the protective sheath on them, felt like they were sticky, but they were not sticky enough because the paper that I was using was pretty heavy weight and they just were not, the paper was not sticking. So much so that, look at this, they're not, there's no stick really, versus this new one that I only used once. See that? There's a considerable difference in the stick. So I'm just going to put this one aside and show you what you need to restick a mat. If you have a lot of residue, you'll need to scrape it gently with something. Um, I've used this metal edge, but very gently. There's also a, uh, you can use an old credit card. Um, you can use the stick away spray from Crafter's Companion, which I don't have right next to me. Oh, here it is. I do have it right next to me. Oh, this is the stick and spray. There's also a stick away that will remove... Oh, and the stick away is right next to me too. And sorry, my squeaky chair. I'm going to have to WD-40 it. So this is the stick away. So this will take all residue off. I'm not going to go that route right now, only because I don't have a lot of residue on it, so I don't need to make the mat fresh. All I need to do is add some temporary adhesion to it and what I'm going to use is the Zig 2-Way and I'm using the, which one is this? I think it's the chisel edge. Let me just take a look. Uh, it's the jumbo tip so I'm literally just going to open this up and because it's brand new I'll show you. Many of you I'm sure have already used it but I'll show it to you anyway. So here's the chisel tip. It's clean and dry when you first receive it. It might be a little moist, but to activate it, I'm just going to use the back of my packaging material. All you need to do is engage the glue inside by pressing down, and you'll see that the chisel is initially white, but as soon as the glue in, um, initiates, it'll start to turn blue. So the Zig 2-Way glue, I'm just going to shake this up a little, so it's starting to act, uh, stream down the foam tip. Um, the 2-Way glue works depending on how much dry time you give it. Um, it goes on blue, right? Yeah, it goes on blue, so that's a wonderful thing about seeing exactly where you're applying it. If you use it while it's glue, it's permanent adhesion. If you let it dry, let it turn to white and it, or clear, clear actually, then it becomes temporary adhesion. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to let this get all the way to the bottom. And while that's activating, I'm just going to close it and put it off to the side and show you what else you will need. You, um, you could use uh, painter's tape to mark off the edges to protect them because you don't want glue outside of the green mat. And the reason it's very important for this uh, application in particular for the Imagine is that it runs through the print function as well as a cut function so if you get any of this gummy material on the inside uh, pieces of the machine, uh, one you're going to invalidate your warranty and two it's not going to run properly, you will not get the crisp results that you want. So taking a little care initially will really uh, result in a much more productive mat. So I have a paper towel, and I'm not going to mask it off. I'm just going to show it to you without that. Um, I have some disinfectant wipes, which I'm going to use if I go beyond the green, and then wipe it off, and then let it air dry. The important part is that you air dry it. Do not put your heat tool on this because this is plastic. It will melt and warp and the warping will prevent it from putting going into your machine safely. So I'm going to take this one aside and I'm going to do both the mats. 
because I want to have them all ready to go for when I need them. And uh, it's best, let me see, I do have a couple of bits and pieces of um, cardstock, and it's best to remove those. So that's all I'm just going to do is take some of these card pieces off. And then I'll show you. So I'm going to take my glue. And you don't want to put too much. So I'm still going to use a little cardboard piece right here to make sure I've activated the glue all the way to the tip. So there it is. It's coming out blue. And this is enough. It's moist but not runny. So now I'm going to run. And I just need to position it so it's even for me. I'm going to start right at the edge and then run a smooth line across the entire mat. And as you see, it goes on blue. And when it dries, it'll be clear. So let me just grab one of these antibacterial wipes. Uh, BB wipes, I suppose, would work as well. The antibacterial have um, some chemicals in it that will help remove any residue. So, And I do use these when I do uh, full page prints. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run my finger all along to make sure it's precise. This step would be eliminated if you pre-taped it with either masking tape or painter's tape. But I'm pretty good about doing this freehand. So I just want to make sure that it's all... So you see it's still blue. I want to make sure that it doesn't run over any of this. Better go further in on the green than out because the outside of that is what runs through the machine. So now I'm just going to keep going. And since I see where the blue is, it's easy enough to just... And again, I'm not really pressing it hard. If I see that I have too much glue... I can go back and just dab it lightly. You don't want any sitting glue in puddles because if it's too much tack, and I'll show you in a second where there is too much tack, I could see already, um, you won't be able to lift up your paper. And the whole point of the mat is to be able to hold it down long enough to print and cut or print if, or um, cut if you're just using the uh, regular machines, not the Imagine and then release when you need to release it. If you're doing, um, I'm just going to flip this over. If you're doing a intricate project and you have too much glue on um, and you pull up your project and it rips, then you've lost the whole point of trying to make it easy for yourself. Okay, so I'm just going to go through and fill in the rest of it. I'm just running it across. I could see that you know it's going on in blue and I can see where I've gone over and I'm just going to do clean up once across the whole board. And this is a quick dry glue. I think the first part of the mat might already be drying. So I'm going to take my little antibacterial wipe and go all around the periphery to make sure that I don't have anything on the outside and anywhere where there might be globs of glue. Like here you could see everything is drying. See that? Except there's some glue blots and I'll show you what I do there in a minute. Okay, I think I have, oh, I have a couple more I can clean up. I'm not doing this on a flat surface because my laptop's underneath, but definitely do this on a flat surface. So now I have um, just a dry paper towel, and you'll want to choose something that has doesn't have a lot of tact or a lot of fibers. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly pick up some of the extra glue, and don't push it down too much because 
it will stick. I'm just picking up the glob globby parts. And you can control this by taking your time and see some of the mats already turning clear, which is good. Now you'll see how much I use my mat. There's cuts into it, and that's okay. That doesn't really hurt your project. So now I'm going to let it set up. Once it's set up, if you find that it's too sticky and you could do a sample, uh, small piece of paper, if it doesn't pull up uh, easily, what you can do is you could take your hand and then pat it all over the open mat, which will take some of the stickiness off. Your hand will be a little sticky, but that you could certainly wash versus if it's too much glue on the mat. So this mat is pretty much done. It's still a little moist, and again, let it air dry, if possible, away from animals, because animal and human hair will stick to this, and then it will prevent the paper from sticking down when you go to do a project. And there's nothing worse than cutting on your Cricut and then having the project rip up. I've had that happen a couple of times. It's kind of disappointing. So these are a couple of little precautionary steps that you could take and restick your mat. So once this air dries and it becomes sticky again, I'll do a little test. I'll be right back and I'll show you that. Okay, I've let the mat air dry and watch. That's pretty sticky. See that? There's no globs of uh, glue anywhere. And I'm going to take a sample of what I printed last week, and this is what happened. I had the, this on a mat that wasn't sticky enough, and it totally ripped the project. The cutting blade kept going, and the paper was moving around. So I'm going to try and adhere this and then see how easily it comes up. So I'm just going to line it up, stick it down. See? That's just the right amount of uh, adhesive you want on your mat in order to do a project. And this is American Crafts uh, white paper, so I think it's 80 pounds, so it's a nice thick um, paper. And I'm just going to cover up my mat with a protective cover and do the same thing to my other mat, so that way the next time I have a project that I want to use my Imagine on, they're all ready to go. So that's a quick and easy way. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. There's lots of other glues that you could use. This just happens to be the quickest thing that I could do for a quick refresh. If I'm doing an overall, if there's a lot of stickiness, like I would do the refresh two or three times, and then I would remove all the glue with the... Um, that, that spray that takes all of the adhesive off and then reapply with a spray. But for the spray, I would definitely mark it off with a tape. So there you go. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And if anyone has any other um, things that they would like to see on video, just uh, leave them to me as a request. Thanks so much for watching.